Uh, Senator Kennedy is next. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Judge, Councilor, congratulations. Um, Councilor, in about 60 seconds, because I only have five minutes, uh, could, could you tell me, in your opinion, what, if anything, is wrong with the criminal justice system in America? <laughs> Senator, oh. thank you for that very broad and very important question. You're welcome. Uh, I understand that there are numerous issues involving the criminal justice system that are the matter of vigorous debate in the public. Give, and me, give me two. Give me two things that you think are wrong with our criminal justice system. Well, Senator, I, I truly respect the role of policymakers in considering questions like this. Uh, it involves so much study of, of empirical data. Yeah, counselor, I understand that. But give me two things. Maybe you don't think anything's wrong with it, but if you could give me two things you think, in your opinion, are wrong with our criminal justice system. Senator, in my, in my 12 and a half years of practice in post-conviction law, I have observed instances where individuals were denied uh, fundamental rights that, that were defined in the Bill of Rights. And uh, I, in many cases, have been able to assist those individuals in seeking vindication. Okay, let's move on, counsel. Um, Do you think it's appropriate for a prosecutor to decide not to prosecute uh, certain classes or lines of criminal law violations in the name of social justice? Senator, I have not had the opportunity to review the legality of challenges to a an executives. I'm not. I'm not asking your opinion about the legality. Some of our DAs, you've read about them, I'm sure, um, in Philadelphia, Los Angeles, for example, other places, have said we we are going to ignore criminal statutes passed by the legislature and not prosecute certain lines of cases in the interest of social justice. And I'm asking your opinion about that. Senator, I do not actually have a, an opinion about that per se. I, I do recognize that constituents. Uh, uh, Counselor, you've, you're an intelligent person. You spent your life in, in criminal, involved in criminal law. You don't have an opinion? Have you thought about it? Senator, I. I'm not sure which specific instances of, of categories of crime that are not being prosecuted you're referring to. Sure. How about uh, shoplifting? How about receiving stolen property? How about resisting arrest? Uh, how about making criminal threats? Do you think those are all statutes, criminal violations? Do you think a prosecutor, it's a very simple question, counsel. Um, do you think prosecutors should decide in the name of social justice not to, to ignore these criminal violations? Have you thought about it? Senator, I, I can't say I have. You're telling me you've not given any thought to this? Senator, I... I None I, whatsoever. Thank you. I, Counselor, I don't believe you. I'm sorry. I just don't believe you. You're a well-read, intelligent person. And I don't know why you won't give me your opinion on this. Senator, I have focused on specific criminal cases uh, as, as an advocate, as an appointed counsel. I know that, but I'm asking your opinion. I'm going to ask it one more time. Do you think prosecutors should ignore criminal violations as per statutes passed by a legislative body in the name of social justice as a matter of, of class of cases? All I can say, Senator, is I believe that prosecutors have a very important job. I, do. I agree. They, their job is 
enormously important. I'm just asking you to answer my question. I can't vote for you if you're not going to answer my question because I don't know what position you're going to take if you're on the court. Thank you, Senator. Would you, would you answer my question? I would hope that prosecutors would use all of all of their tools and resources to make important decisions about issues such as the one that you've raised. And if confirmed, I would review the legality of any challenge. Counselor, I'm very disappointed. I'm getting word salad here, and I don't, I don't even have dressing on it. We both know what I'm talking about, and I, I think your your refusal to answer your refusal to answer gives your refusal to answer gives me the answer. With all due respect. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Kennedy. Uh, I'm going to comment on that's your question. Well, I'm going to want to respond. I want you to. Okay. Attorneys and prosecutors make decisions every single day as to what cases will be prosecuted and which cases will not. It is physically, legally impossible to prosecute all cases. They establish priorities. They try to serve the public in establishing those priorities. Every prosecutor makes that choice. They can't prosecute every possible violation of the law. That's just part of their responsibility. I don't see why that is a reflection on whether or not you agree with their choices or not. Some are going to take a much different view than others. That's just the nature of it. And in terms of summarizing what's wrong with the criminal justice system in 60 seconds, challenge any one of us to do the same. Well, Mr. Chairman, you know, Dick, the affection that I have for you. But this is the third hearing in which you've made editorial comments about my questions. But I'm and, the and floor so, open to so, you. so I want to respond. <clears throat> um, number one, uh, this very bright person has spent her life in criminal just the criminal justice system. I don't think it's unreasonable to ask what, if anything, she thinks is wrong with it and get a candid answer. Number two, of course you're right about prosecutorial discretion. But you and I both know that's not what my question was about. We have a number of district attorneys that have taken the position that they are going to ignore criminal statutes passed by a legislative body, and they are not going to prosecute, they meaning the prosecutors, an entire line of cases, for example, shoplifting, uh, receiving stolen property, resisting arrest in the name of social justice. Now, Mr. Chairman, we both know what I'm talking about, and so does the witness. And I don't know why she won't answer the question, and that's the point I was trying to make. I, I mean no disrespect to either of you, but I think my questions are perfectly appropriate in this environment. Thank you, Senator. Anything more to add at this point? Okay, thank you very much. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. And while you're at it, please leave us a comment. Thank you for watching.